Hey everybody and welcome to the next episode of Epic Arma. Today we have another Starship Trooper scenario and it's going to be a holdout. Um, in the last video was a huge success, uh, I think over 100,000 views. Uh, a lot of people saying like, oh this is not Starship Troopers, this is Halo. Even though in the first two minutes I talk about why it's Halo units, it's because simply the regular units are not in the mod, it's just the bugs. And uh, currently we're doing it a little bit different. Uh, in that video I think uh, a viewer by the name of William Lydon, he gave me a link to an Aliens mod um, of uh, that originally was for Arma 2, but it was now ported to Arma 3, and it doesn't actually contain the actual alien, but it contains the uh, colonial uh, the space marines that we know from the movie. And though uh, color-wise or armor-wise, they might even be a little bit further from uh, the Starship Troopers uh, compared to the Halo, I think that their weapons uh, and some of their uh, color scheme in terms of like a dropship or uh, turrets are actually closer to that. So that's what we're gonna do. We also have the cool, cool auto turrets from the uh, from the movies. So um, we're here on Blood Gulch, and uh, I thought these buildings were perfect to kind of replicate a holdout. So in the last one, which was the evacuation. Uh, a lot more people ask for more bugs, so that's what I provided here. Uh, if you think these are not enough, hold on. We have a lot more here, 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 and in total, over here, we have over 200 bugs that are coming down uh, upon us. Uh, it will get laggy, though, just a warning, uh, but because I got them spread out and because we don't have too many people on my team, uh, I was able to get this many, uh, many bugs in there. Anyway, let's get started. Here we are. Here are the bugs. Are the um, APC that we got here. Hold on, it's very loud for me. I hope it's not. So the APC that we have behind us is actually... Um, works as a static turret. I set it to not move. It has guns over there, guns over there. And it's doing a very good job. One thing that's also very, very good about this, uh, and it might not be too cool for uh, like Starship Troopers fans, because of course the regular warrior bugs still pose a threat in that movie. And what I mean by this is that, for example, if I shoot just a few bullets against these guys, these weapons are so powerful that, again, as you can see, they get taken out a mere seconds. However, because of that, that is also a reason why I can have so many. Because one of the reasons why it gets laggy so much is because all of these bugs crop into each other. I'll show you this. So I actually have a few stations up here. These two that are up here. Oh god, he's already dead. How did he die? Hmm. Not entirely sure. But these are here because... Uh... Oh, there's a dropship. Look at that. This is a little bit of a surprise, but we're actually waiting for an evacuation. Uh, a lot of you said in previous videos how the dropships uh, of the... Uh, oh, Jesus. <laughs> okay. How the dropships of aliens look really similar to the dropships of uh, Starship Troopers. They're a little early. Earlier than normal. If they actually... Uh, land to the ground, it might actually convert some of the uh, bugs over there. Oh, there you can see no more coming. But the... Uh, these two soldiers that are up here actually have the function to lure the uh, bugs up here. If I don't do that, they will actually stay on the ground level and not attack my soldiers. Here it becomes kind of laggy. There we actually see the ship punching down. More incoming. Oh. Hurt myself there. Ricocheting bullets. Uh, and even more incoming. For those of, for those people who said, I want more bugs, I want more bugs, I hope you're happy. Oh, Jesus. Do we have grenades? We do. Grenade out, and another.
Oh, there you go. That did some damage. It actually, the grenades are even less useful than the regular gunfire. Alright, they're actually, they're not taking the bait. You can see a lot of our soldiers now aiming down. It's because all of them are here. Yeah. They're all down there. We need to get to that dropship. All right. Uh, I could go the other way. Uh, yeah. Right. Let's see if I can also do some damage in the meantime. Oh my god, look at all of them. Uh oh. You can just see me cleaning house. Again, it's so powerful. On one hand, I do find it cool, because it does mean I can stand a chance against the bugs. But again, on the other thing, in the movie, you know, you really need like six, seven guys to take down one warrior bug. That's what's kind of make them so threatening. Look at all of them. That's a lot, and there are a lot left there. All right, let's head in here. Oh, look, look at that. The pilots are actually fighting with us. Good job, guys. Oh Jesus! They damaged their engine. That's not good. Can it? This, can it still work? Manual fire. Manual fire. Trying to lift off. Engine, yeah. Doesn't work. It's defect. Alright. Gotta deal with this manually then, I guess. So we'll try this one more time uh, as the bugs, and then uh, kind of end with, it's not going to be too special, but we'll end with actually being the dropship and trying to see if we can save our, uh, our teammates. Look at, uh, look at this clusterfuck. Oh my goodness. Oh my god, look how many are, are still alive. This is initially why I put those uh, two up there, to, to kind of lure them. And sometimes it worked, but I guess sometimes it's also a little glitchy. Where they won't take the bait. And then I was out of ammo. Alright, let's switch to the bugs. Alright, hey guys, here we are the bugs now. Let's head over there. I, uh, on purpose, chose one of the bugs that is a little bit further ahead. Just because the first few bugs, of course, get the uh, full anger of the auto turrets on them. Here you can get a better glimpse of all the bugs marching towards the uh, the base. And one thing that's so interesting about this, about how powerful they are, is uh, that you only need a handful of Colonial Marines to uh, to withstand against the bugs. And speaking of that, 
if someone knows if there is a working predator uh, for armor 3. I know that there's a predator for armor one, uh, 2. But if there's one for armor 3, we can have some pretty cool scenarios with uh, predators versus colonial marines or something like that. Something that, for example, would be really cool if people remember the um, zombie evacuation we did with Star Wars. We could have one uh, at night where there's maybe like one or two predators stalking us. So we need to evacuate. That would be dope. There's no one with me. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. I'm all alone here. Now oh, they're firing at me. Oh, and there I go. See how quickly I died there. Oh, oh, oh. We'll switch to another one. Oh, and he's about to die. Oh, we have more. And, oh, and there I go. I don't know if there's another one I can switch to. Maybe. Yeah, there is. Just the horde keeps on coming and keeps on coming. This looks pretty menacing, though. Oh, my goodness. Oh, there's the dropship. Yeah, they're doing grenades now. Oh, the final warrior bug. Oh, it's in here. Let's let's greet our our friends who are dropping in the dropship. Where are they? Come on now. Don't let us wait all day. I guess we can actually uh, also do the Colonial Marines against things like, for example, the Halo units. To be honest, I think if, if the damage-wise it's the same, I think the Colonial Marines will slaughter the Halo units. Oh, this engine definitely works. Come on, boys. Feeding time. Oh, he's running away. They both are. Come back here. Come here. Can I not kill this dude? I'm not entirely sure how that... Oh, there you go. Oh, he might actually have just been killed by his own men. Oh, and there I go. All right, let's finish with uh, with the actual ship. And then... Uh... All right, and here we are in the uh, actual drop ship. Don't expect too much gameplay here. It's just to kind of get a closer look at the, uh, the drop ship. It looks very, very pretty. One thing that's interesting is that you can definitely see in that the design of some of the ships, but also just the 
the soldiers is that Halo does take some inspiration from the Colonial Marines. Again, the Colonial Marines, of course, were portrayed pretty a uh, long time ago. Oh. Overshooting it a little bit. Quite a lot, actually. <laughs> now, I can go to manual fire, can I? Manual fire! Alright. Let's teach these bugs a lesson. Rockets away. Enemy spotted. Foot mobiles. 800 meters west. Enemy spotted. Foot mobiles. 100 meters left. Soldiers. Half a click west. Soldiers. 700 Oh yeah, nice little planet west. texture. I've got a visual. Really like Soldiers, that. Half a click. Southeast. Contact. Rifleman. 600 meters back. Ugh, landing this is going to be a giant issue. Still bugs heading in. Enemy spotted. Rifleman. 700 meters. Bearing 060. I see movement. Foot mobiles. 400 meters east. One. Hold fire. Infantry. 100 meters front. One. Hold fire. Foot mobiles. 100 meters left. Soldiers. 200 meters right. Ooh, Jesus. <laughs> not not the best pilot ever in the world, but you know. I do the I do the job. Little far from base. But we did it! No engine uh, damage. Aha. I love the effect when you touch down. It's so cool. This is a little bit of a drop. Oh my, look how far it goes. Rifleman, Incredible. Meters, front. Enemy spotted. Oh! It's like the mist! Rifleman, Which is a shitty show, by the way. And a pretty okay movie. Alright, that was it. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time.